Hi investors, in this video I'm going to show you how to find David Ryan's ants list on MarketSmith, a list of stocks that are undergoing institutional buying and who moves stock prices. Not your Aunt Ethel, not you and me, it's the institutions. So I will define for you very quickly what the ants indicator tells us and then I will um, show you how to find the list and then let's just click through the list. I only have a few minutes here, but we'll click through the list at a few stocks and see if we find any that appear viable. So stick around if you have MarketSmith and even if you don't, um, I will maybe turn you towards some stocks that you are not aware of and you can still use it. Um, you can still see this institutional buying by kind of um, visualizing your own ants list. So let me first define this for you. Actually, first, first, let me say two things. One, um, not investing advice. I'm not a licensed financial planner or money manager. Make your own investment decisions. Two, I encourage you to check out my um, partner, Seeking Alpha and Seeking Alpha Premium and Alpha Picks links in the description below. More about that at the end of the video. And three, is that three? Um, you might consider checking out my Patreon as well. I show my portfolio and focus list every weekend to my Patreon members. Now, if you want an in-depth definition of David Ryan's ants indicator from David Ryan himself, this guy right here, I'm going to put the link to this video in the description of um, <laughs> of this video and this video. That's, um, I said that a bit inarticulately, but you get it, right? Who's David Ryan anyway? He is a three-time U.S. investment champion, um, and he accomplished that in the late 80s. He's been around for a long, long time. The only three-year champion, um, three-peat champion in the U.S. investing championships that I know of. So I'll, I'll put this link in the description. Now let me show you a quick definition. Okay, uh, you can find the definition in various places. This particular definition is from Trading View, but I believe it is the same definition that David Ryan says in his video. So the ANTS indicator looks for a stock that's been up at least 12 of the past 15 days the volume has increased over the past 15 days by 20 to 25 percent, and the price is up at least 20 percent over the past 15 days. And th there's kind of a sweet spot. You definitely want the price to be up significantly, 20 plus percent, but you don't want it to have run up too far. If it's already run up 100 um, percent by the time the ANTS indicator arrives, so to speak, the run might be done. And how do we find the ANTS indicator on Marcus Smith? Well, actually, why is it called ANTS? Comes from William O'Neill, where small black marks were placed above price bars when the MVP criteria were met, momentum, volume, and price. You know what? I'll put this article in the description of the video as well. Let me move it over here to my other screen for now. Now, finding the ANTS indicator let me find it for you and then I'll show you what it looks like. It's pretty, oh, okay, maybe it's not so easy to find. Um, you go to reports. You got this, this bottom window here. Open it, pull it up so you can see better. You go to reports. It's a little toggle window. Toggle it down, all right? Then you go to stocks. Toggle that one down. Then you go, there's all sorts of great stuff here, by the way. There are so many tools in the MarketSmith toolbox it is nuts and there's no way you can use all of them at once but um, gradually explore them and add them to your process now <laughs> sorry I got distracted uh, so you go you go reports you go stocks and then technical and here are some are a few great lists here you got earnings gap ups earning gap downs um, and then the Minervini templates. I've made videos on these. I'm not sure if they're still on my website. Not on my YouTube. You might want to check. Um, the Minervini templates. I run at least one of these every week. Um, but So here's our ants list right here. And once you find it, 
you can go right here see this little <laughs> what do you want to call that down arrow click it and pick add to favorites and now here's my favorites and it is right here much easier to find right okay so here is our list there are 167 stocks that are showing the ants pattern and one thing you can do now is sort them you can sort them by composite rating um, generally you'd want to do highest EME has the highest deposit rating I actually have this one in my patreon um, portfolio you can sort it by size aka market cap Let's see what the biggest one is biggest one Eli Lilly okay that makes sense you can sort it by relative strength the strength that is showing in comparison to the rest of the market we've got quite a few with 99s here micro strategy which just um, might have put in a near-term top today spire therapeutics root um, grayscale Bitcoin trust one of the new Bitcoin ETF super micro etc you can sort it by the strength of its industry group that's kind of interesting um, let's see my, what is the strongest industry group oh okay I had to slide the bar here to the right computer software now we've got MicroStrategy, AYX, I'm not familiar with that one, Elastic, Verona Systems, and Supermicro. Now another thing you can do with this list, if you prefer to look at the charts in another software program, I actually prefer to look at my charts through StockCharts.com. They have more um, charts that are easier to read and better annotations. All you do, you click on the wrench here and you export it into an Excel document like so it appears up there and you can click on it here it is in it oops one second popped up on my other screen here it is in Excel and now you can highlight all these copy them paste them into stockcharts.com or whatever um, software program you want to use so what does ants look like it's these little black marks here so it indicates that um, <clears throat> this stock has gone up 12 of the last 15 days volume has been elevated and price is up at least 20 percent now <clears throat> the way to get value out of this is you don't automatically just buy whenever you see an ants because often most of the time stocks are um, overextended by the time these little ants show up so you make a mental note of it you put it on your watch list or your focus list you wait for it to base out and then break out again because when the institutions are buying they usually just don't buy for on uh, 12 or 15 days they're usually buying for weeks sometimes for months and I purposely pick sprouts farmers market um, <clears throat> one because my girlfriend loves that place it's her favorite grocery store by far but two um, because this one is getting ready to be buyable again it's it was in this uptrend gapped up and now it's been basing out here for a few weeks I'd love to see it continue moving sideways here and I'd like to see the 50-day moving average cut up catch up and slide sideways for another week or two and then um, when it breaks out of this tight platform that will be our signal to go long and we set a tight stop like five to ten percent and I just am taking a look at this one on stockcharts.com so here's your big breakout on earnings here's our big volume here's our price movement here it's starting to base out it is still quite extended above the 50-day I'd like to see it this base get to preferably three times longer actually but let's put this one on the watch list okay so let's just look through some of these I sorted them by relative strength I want to see the strongest stocks in the market and just to make this more educational for me for me I'm just gonna look at the ones that I'm not familiar with we'll just do this for 10 minutes or so and see what we can see let's see so I don't know Spire Therapeutics this is a um, medical therapeutic stock um, pre-revenue 
They are not making any money yet. This is trading on story alone. Let's look at the monthly. Yet, um, biotechs often go sideways or down for years until they finally um, commercialize or get close to commercialization. We got a nice weekly chart. We got a shoulder head, shoulder right there. Um, let's go back. Let's draw in our neckline. Here's our neckline like so. So we just crossed the neckline. Here's our ants. If I were to entertain buying this stock, see this is really too extended in my opinion. It has run up from 28 to 40 in short order. Here are your ants and there's some more ants here. Um, <clears throat> so what you do is you wait for it to set up again. So here's your ants, here's your base, wait for the base to break out. And if you would have bought that breakout, you'd be sitting pretty, right? So let's wait for another breakout on Spire. But let's put it on the watch list. Here's another one. This is Root. This is an app-based insurance company. They must be doing something new. It has gone from 7 to 60 in a couple months. Boy, why, why weren't we aware of this stock before, huh? Here's our ants. So again, we need to wait for this to set up and I'm going to pause the video and put it on the watch list as well. All right, let's see. I know Supermicro very well. I know Vera, VRT, I know Sweet Green. I don't know that one. SG, oh, 186 fast food restaurants serving healthy food at scale. Here's the website. Let's just look at this. Chicken pesto parm, that looks good. Salads, warm bowls. Let's look at the warm bowls. All right, so this is kind of a healthy fast food place, kind of in the kind of Chipotle niche. Sure looks good. I've never been to one. If you've been to one, uh, let me know what you think. It is still losing money, as young companies often do, um, but sales are pretty good and increasing. Here is the weekly chart. Here we got that same shoulder head, shoulder. We can draw our neckline. So one way to approach this would be to buy it when it crosses the neckline right there. We missed it. So what do we do now? Uh, so again, this is extended. We're going to need to wait for it to put in a base. I'm going to put it on the watch list. <clears throat> and in case you're wondering how I do my watch list, of course, you can do it any way you want. I, I build my watch list on stockcharts.com. I go save, Patreon portfolio. I'm going to put it at level three. So I put a three and then I write watch behind it. I often set an alert, but this one we really just need to eyeball. Um, we need to wait for it to base out or come in for a third or so and then um, bounce. We'll just have to watch it. Okay, let's keep going. Vistra, retail and sales of, oh, so this is a utility company. Minervini does not like utility companies, I guess because they're cyclical. This sure doesn't look cyclical to me. This looks like a stock I wish I was in. What have we got here? This is a money-making company, 1.4% dividend yield. Look at the daily here. Um, the numbers were very poor last quarter, and yet it did well. It must have been all about future expectations. Uh, this one is starting to base out. Let's see if it'll continue to make a base at 60 for another few weeks. Again, I'm going to put this one on the watch list. All right, let's see. Macrogenics sounds like a biotech. Yeah, it is another pre-rev biotech. Um, here is your ants. It did make a little high tight flag broke out and has come down to the 50 day. This one might actually be actionable because you've got a strongly ascending 50 day uh, did come in pretty hard. I don't like that. I like them to come in a more gradually on low volume 
That was the triple witching day, though. Don't worry about that. But that certainly was high volume on the earnings release. Let's look at this on stock charts here. MGNX. Hmm. Yeah, I guess technically I'm not too enamored with this because you've got this big wall of trapped buyers here that chances are they will sell into um, upward price movement. I would probably wait for it to get above 18.5. So here's what we'll do. We'll set an alert at 8. Oh, hold on. 18 point. Let's go 49. Text message and site notification. Got it. Let's see, CLS, Canadian Contract Manufacturer of Electronic Product. <sighs> the battery on my mouse died. We were just looking at CLS, Canadian Contract Manufacturer of Electronic Products. Here are three ant days. This is in an uptrend. This is a stock I'd like to be in, but not necessarily buyable. Now, if I was doing this, um, offline, so to speak, I would just cycle through really quickly. I wouldn't say anything. Um, and I would just look for stocks that are um, just that have just broken out or are working up the right side of bases or that have just pulled back to the 50 day and are bouncing like right there. So I would just go um, like this fast, just like this. This was an almost, we could have bought it right there. We're a little bit behind, but it's going to come back now and get support. What is this? Liquidia, LQDA, Human Therapeutics, another pre-rev biotech. It's always scary to buy something that doesn't have any earnings, but um, these biotechs can really move with just the, what, speculation of earnings. And sometimes they turn out to be pretty, amazing investments human therapeutics let's um look at this one on stock charts real quick lqda okay stockcharts.com again so here's our base right there here's our cheat here's where we want to buy it right there maybe an, even an initial buy right there um, but here's our first pullback to the 50 day after a big breakout it's often successful would be right there it's just too far extended now we got to just watch it so I can see that the good thing about the screen is it gives you a bunch of good stocks for your watch list stocks that are under or have undergone institutional accumulation and probably will um, be continued to be driven up by the institutions, but they're overextended and we need to wait for pullbacks and bases. Let me just click through here and see if I can find one for you that's set up. Okay, the one closest to being viable in just the five minutes that I spent looking is Uber. Uh, I love that Uber fundamentally you've got three quarters of triple digit earnings growth and here's our ants way back here. Uptrend, big gap up on earnings has been coming down quietly with the weakness of the overall market and it's about to hit its 50 day. Let's just glance at this on stock charts because I can just visualize it better. So here we are very close to the 50 day. It did print a demand hammer today. Um, the price came down and then there was accumulation. So that might be as close to the 50 day as it's going to get let's just wait and watch it um, if it opens strongly to the upside I'd be comfortable putting on a half position ideally it comes in a little bit more gets closer to the 50 day and then a strong bounce and that's where we put on our half position and then we wait for this base to round out here and then we put the other half on the put the other half on when it makes a handle of sorts or a traditional breakout buy. It might not come any lower to the 50 day though. Look here how the institutions crawled all over themselves and bought um, above the 50 days. So that would be um, 
my best pick at the moment using the ants indicator, but um, on Market Smith, certainly an interesting screen, one that takes some um, additional screening once you get the screen, but that's um, super performance requires um, using these algorithmic tools to help us, been, but then ultimately uh, it's an art, right? Let me know your thoughts and comments. Um, check out my Patreon if you're interested in seeing my portfolio and focus list every weekend, seven day free trial. And my partner, as I mentioned, is Seeking Alpha Premium. It's an amazing database of fundamentals. Um, you can do portfolios here. Let's type in Uber. You can read um, a wealth of analysis articles, news items, transcripts, etc. Here's the first news item. Riding Uber from cash burn to cash cow. Mini deep dive on Uber. That would be a great analysis article to read. Here's our summary. Here's the article. The other thing they offer is Alpha Picks. This is um, a series of picks based upon quantitative um, quantitative fundamental analysis and it's outperforming the S&P 500 127 to 35. Check those out in the description below if you are interested. I will see you guys in the next video.